Hi, I'm Jackson Crawford. I'm an Old Norse specialist, previously teaching at several different universities, and now conducting my lessons for the whole world that wants them, I suppose, via YouTube and supported by Patreon. Today, I want to talk about a specifically Viking haircut mentioned in one Old English text. <laughs> Now, I don't want to pretend that there was probably ever any one given Viking haircut. Take one minute and think about your own historical haircuts, right? I've had very long hair in my life. Back when I was in grad school and paying for a barber was like paying for diamonds. And I've had very short hair, which was to impress a judge. And think about just the past few decades of style changes, right? My mom and her friends in the 80s had styles of hair that have never been seen on human beings before or since that decade. So individual hairstyles change and cultural hairstyles change. There's no reason to think there was one single Viking hairstyle throughout the Viking Age that would have been the same from Denmark to Iceland and back. But there's very little evidence, in fact nothing that I can think of at all, to suggest the kind of weird mohawk type style that you often see on TV shows today. I don't know where that comes from or exactly how that got associated with Vikings today, um, but there's no, nothing in any Old Norse text or, or archaeological find that I'm aware of that supports it. Now in Old Norse texts, we actually don't even have very many explicit descriptions of hairstyles. There's a general sense that more attractive people have longer hair, especially women, although men often have, are described as having fairly long hair too. Sigurdur in the Saga of the Volsungs has long golden locks. Um, you wouldn't expect these to be incredibly long golden locks because there's a certain point at which uh, long hair gets in the way of a fighting man. But I don't think that it's unrealistic to think of that sort of general, uh, you know, maybe not shoulder length, but, but perhaps neck length hair as long as it's kept out of the eyes. Although something in this English text maybe, maybe contradicts that, being uh, perhaps sort of a general medieval haircut for men. And if we look at archaeological finds like the Oseberg heads, uh, we can see hairstyles that are longish, but not, uh, not incredibly long and not incredibly short either. And as far as facial hair, the main thing that is described for men that are described as attractive or high status is that the, sh the facial hair is somehow shaped. That's actually typically the word used in Riksula. Uh, we read of Avi, Varskeg skapat. Skor var fyrir eni. The beard was shaped and a rim was in front of his forehead. So we can presume maybe like a beetle cut, right? Hair kind of coming across right here. All right, so let me give you a quick word from my sponsor and then I will give you this old English passage about a Viking haircut. There was, interestingly, an English writer who took issue with his brother imitating what he regarded as a Viking haircut. All right, here is what our disapproving Englishman wrote about his brother impersonating a Viking haircut. Itch sejethe, bro their eadward, that ye doth unritliche, that ye thaw English and theo was for latan, the eora fadras hailed them. An hedenra mana thea was luvia. The eu thas lives ne unon. An miththam yes wutliath. That ye forseoth eor kin and eor ildran. Miththam un thea wum thona ye him on teonon. Tusliath eo on Danish. A blerdum necan and a blendum eagum. Now, what does that say? Hopefully, Simon Roper or other. Old English specialist won't be too unhappy with my pronunciation of Old English I am, after all. 
oh, fundamentally an old Norse guy, but they're similar languages. So this says, I say to you, Brother Edward, that you do unrightly that you leave the English customs which your fathers held and love heathen men's customs, though them who didn't grant you life. And with that, you declare that you scorn your kin and your elders with the bad customs which you in association with them clothe your when you in association with them or like them i'm other people have taken this differently i'm i'm assuming the town in there is a weak form of tail band of men so this is on town and him like in association with him anyway what you do when you associate with them is you tisleath you clothe yourself ew, on danish almost as if he's saying like in the danish language and but in a danish in a danish fashion with balded necks a blerudum hnekan or balded neck, singular, and blinded eyes, a blendum egum. What does this mean exactly? I would suspect that the blinded eyes has something to do with what's mentioned about Avi and Rigsula, that there's some kind of a rim, almost beetles cut, right? You've got long bangs in the front. But the balded neck is interesting. Now, in Old Norse and in Old English, we have two words for neck that are used not quite overlappingly. The neck tends to be the back of the neck and the hals is the front of the neck. So this would perhaps be the back of the neck implying that maybe the hair is shaved particularly high on the head, like unusually high on the head. That would also imply that the hair is not so long that it would cover the neck because the neck is bared, probably shaven. Now, I can't exactly picture what this person is describing, but it's interesting just how how strongly he associates this weird hairstyle with the Danish pagans that have invaded their lands. And while I doubt that this is exactly the always uh, and forever and everywhere Danish or Viking hairstyle, it certainly implies that maybe in the subculture of Viking raiders, there was an accepted style of hair in the early Viking Age. This would be kind of analogous to the way that in one of our own martial subcultures, the military, there is a, you know, there's, there's a military cut, right? Most guys in the military have really, really short hair. And then when they get out of the military, they grow it really long and grow beard. But it would not be surprising if there were some kind of subcultural uh, demand for a particular hairstyle and that's what i imagine is being thought of here that this is a viking raider's hairstyle it's almost possibly we could picture something like a front mohawk right hair grown long here to get in front of the eyes but bared in the back of the head i'm sure it would look kind of fearsome kind of scary that's probably what you want if you're you know raiding the english and taking what you want from them i hope that uh, none of you you know <laughs> go too crazy trying to imitate a quote unquote Viking hairstyle. I think shaving the whole back of your head would look odd today, but I'm certainly no fashion guru. And from beautiful Colorado, let me wish you all the best.